Manny, I'll start with you. You've been here now. You, you're a senior. You've been in this program a long time to know that any win is a good win. Uh, is it more special to bounce back as a complete team with all the contributions after the loss on Friday against Albany? Uh, definitely. It is, it is great to have lots of, lots of the guys uh, contribute and uh, get the team together. Working. And it's a good, a good opportunity for, for us to work on some things and become better as a team. And we get back into the back at work in, in the gym. Oh, nice. You specifically, a lot of hustling, typically a lot of strong rebounding, but uh, you're more a, a selfless passer than shooter. But the last couple of nights now, you've had the touch. At what point do you decide, you know what, if I can get a shot, I'm going to take it because you're perfect today, 4-4. Four for four. Uh, well, coach tells us all the time that, um, you know what, if, if it's a good shot, you, you take it. We work on it every day. And um, the shot that I'm supposed to take, I'm going to take the same way I do in practice. And the same way I do in practice, I'm going to pass the ball to my teammates to get a bucket. Rob, you've been on the end of both of those. You've had some good scoring games. You've had some very good assist games as of late. But I think really some of the big rebounds, you only have four today, but a lot of them early on in traffic. Do you realize that you're only 6'3"? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, in practice, coaches, coaches talked about rebounding a lot, uh, making sure everybody crashes the boards. Um, I like to think I have a pretty good jumping ability, so I try to use that for the best of my uh, to my advantage and just crash the board as much as possible. I know about the jumping ability. I know when you had a breakaway, you really were trying to get past the defender <laughs> to, to electrify the crowd. But how have the, the, the increase in minutes, you know, as the year's gone on, getting back to where you were before the concussion last year, what does that say to you knowing the level of confidence that, that Jim and his coaches have in your ability in this offense? Um, it shows a lot. It shows a lot of confidence in me. It makes me feel more comfortable. Um, lets me feel more free to just play. Uh, not think too much out there, and um, the more confident he has in me, the more comfortable I am out there, which I think helps my game tremendously. What's the best thing about playing alongside and practicing alongside of a guy like Tim Coleman? Um, brings Definitely brings out the best of you. Uh, in practice, we go at it a lot, uh, most of the time. So um, even if you have an off day or anything, he's not going to let you just uh, take the day off. I think he brings out the best in uh, everybody. Me guarding him it definitely helps every day. You had a huge game today now. Manny, you've played alongside at Demon Lin for a while, uh, and you saw his shooting in the clutch in a couple of our road games this year and in all last year. Uh, didn't play a whole lot because he didn't need to, but what can you say about the way he continues to progress as a player here in his junior year? Oh, uh, I mean, his work ethic is extreme. He he gets in early and stays late. He puts in the work, and he, he makes you better. Like he, Obviously, the guy's talent in shooting the ball is, is unique. Not everyone can say that they can shoot the ball like the Marlin. He's, I don't even know how, how he's ranked in, in the nation with his shooting, and I'm pretty sure it's very high. And he, he keeps put it, bringing it back. He puts in the work every day, he pushes you, and he makes sure that if, if you're not there to guard him, he's, he's going to make you know that he, you weren't there, and he's going to punish you for it. He's going to punish you there if, you, if you're even there. And I know it helps out Rob, too, because there have been times recently where Rob's been open on the perimeter for his three-point shot because of the overplay on DeMond. Uh, but, Rob, you guys have had this grueling November. What's it like now to be able to get back to have five days of, of, of normalcy practice time to get ready for a game that's not until Saturday against UMass Lowell? Uh, I think that's big time for us. Uh, we could work on. We have a lot of time to work on things as opposed to working on them in games. Um, I think we've kind of gotten away from some of the things we do great. So uh, in these five days, I think Coach is going to really make sure we get back to the fundamentals, make sure everybody's back intact, our defense and uh, offense and everything. And I think after the five days, it might, there may be a difference in our gameplay.